Hey everybody, my name is Megan and I'm the author here at The Life LGBT Mental Health at HealthyPlace.com and today I want to talk a little bit about actively sleeping. What that is, uh, why I find it helpful, why you might find it helpful. So actively sleeping is essentially just the idea of being mindful and present when our bodies are going to sleep. Um, if you're anything like me, uh, I used to just fall asleep either in front of the TV, you know, fall asleep on the couch, wake up, put myself in bed a few hours later, or would lay in bed at night for hours, just kind of tossing around all the thoughts of the day and any past decisions I made and any future decisions I might be waiting to make and, you know, really kind of drum up that anxiety in my mind so that sleep either wouldn't come um, or the biggest problem that I had is I have a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, which sometimes can come with things like nightmares and flashbacks. Uh, so this was my problem when I was trying to sleep, when I would just let my body and mind fall asleep whenever, however, um, I would wake up in the middle of the night to these, you know, horrible dreams and have a lot of difficulty falling back asleep. So what I did is I implemented um, some active sleeping. You know, I, I came up with a routine before bed, turned all the electronics off about half an hour before bed, no phone, no TV, um, would read a book, you know, or do whatever it needed to kind of get ready for sleep. And then I would lay down in bed about 15 minutes before I, you know, really wanted to fall asleep and meditate or listen to some calming music, um, some calming sounds, things like that. So that by the time that I was falling asleep, not only was I aware that I was falling asleep, but I was also falling asleep with a clear mind. Any thoughts of the day, any decisions or, you know, future decisions or any uh, things like that that my anxiety could really grab onto to keep me awake were processed by the time that I was falling asleep. Um, and this would lead to a much more restful sleep on a much more regular basis. Um, but it's not foolproof, you know, I, I have to also bring that up that I still did and do experience nights where I have bad dreams or nightmares and they keep me up in the middle of the night or they wake me up. And what I've implemented there is, you know, actually waking up and meditating, listening to that calming music and really going back into that active process of falling asleep. Even if I've already done that and it's just me waking up in the middle of the night, making sure that I'm still present um, and falling asleep. And I've really found it to be helpful to cope with my symptoms of PTSD, um, my anxiety and uh, kind of racing thoughts sometimes. So I hope that this is helpful for you. Um, or maybe you can share what your routine looks like um, and help the rest of us come up with, you know, our own personalized routine with some suggestions. Uh, but thank you so much for coming and listening today. Take care.